Well, steady investments in research and innovation. Trade and Industry Minister Gan Kim Yong says they form the backbone of Singapore's strong capabilities in biomedical sciences and engineering. He says this has resulted in speedy innovations to support the country's fight against COVID-19. Other comments come at the annual A-Star Scholarship Award Ceremony. Besides combating COVID-19, the government's investments in science, technology and innovation will enable us to create new growth engines to support Singapore's next stage of economic development. To develop a globally competitive R&D talent pool, we must continue to build and nurture an agile local talent base, support research work on challenging problems of global importance and remain open to international talent and ideas. Close to 70 aspiring scientists receive their scholarships and fellowships at the virtual ceremony. They will go on to support research efforts in areas such as food sustainability. Choi Tian Tian has spoken with two scholarship recipients. This 23-year-old cooks up a storm in a lab. Her passion is in developing sustainable, plant-based meat alternatives, something driven by her soft spot for animals. Among her projects so far, a 3D printed salmon made with peas and lentils. Soon, she will pursue a PhD in food science and technology at the National University of Singapore. But there's a more immediate target. We want to develop gelatin because gelatin is one of the most extensively used to a gelling agent. With the growing dem uh, shift from meat consumption, right, towards all these alternative meat products, then the gelatin, which is a byproduct of meat production, will also decrease in its availability. But currently, there is no suitable substitute that is being used for gelatin. Another scholarship recipient will study for a PhD at the NUS Yonglulun School of Medicine. He lost his mother to severe asthma when he was 10. His ambition is to find out how to slow down the progression of genetic diseases. And a work stint at a COVID-19 testing facility has fueled his interest. Whatever I studied in Stronghold Diagnostic Lab has to do with uh, nucleic acid, DNAs and all that. So it correlates with genetics and wanting to pursue human genetics. Since my undergraduate, uh, Stronghold Diagnostic Lab has further pushed my ambitions. Uma and Jingxin will join over 1,700 PhDs and postdoctoral talent nurtured through 20 years of the A-Star Scholarship Program.